Well, I did come back to the model table last night, but I didn't video anything. It was, uh, you might say, just too difficult to try and video the reinforcing job that I did. Well, you know what? I'm going to put the super macro on so I can show you how it came out. You, you can't see it. In fact, I can't even see it right now. Uh, that is with my normal reading glasses on. Uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, I, th I think it's better. Uh, now, one of the viewers sent us a comment and it, it sort of helped me understand what, what these little things are. Uh, yeah, they got nothing to do with antenna. Uh, you'll be able to see in a minute here, these are, these little things here that we put on yesterday, they're actually lights. Oh, by the way, I did use the microscope. Um, the, the connection that I glued up uh, was, was so, uh, so tiny, I had to do it with a microscope. I just couldn't see it even with my magnification hood. But it is better. Anyway, I'm, I'm starting to ramble and get off the subject here. Oh, one more thing. While I was sitting here last night, I sort of perused ahead a little bit in the manual. And as at least one of you knows, I made what you might call pretty close to a serious mistake. It's not like the whole project is ruined. It's just that I really boxed myself in. I, I literally box, boxed myself in. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, that, that was that was too bad. I think some of you already know what happened here. Uh, anyway, uh, let's let's put on the super macro and and look at this little joint here before we go any further. Now this might not work here, but I'm going to give it a try. What we have here is my ballpoint pen. To just, just give perspective here as to size. Um, okay, so now you know we're looking at something really tiny, right? And what I originally had done was I had used CA Thin and it it just would not stay in the joint as you as you see it now i had wanted it to form like a, like a little gusset around the joint and i thought well maybe i'll use the medium and then i thought well why don't i just jump right up and use the thick so i used the ca thick and under the microscope i was able to get it to uh well the way you see it and it is probably i'm guessing uh Oh, ten times stronger than it was before. Now something else that I did last night was I tried to find photographs of those lights. And I thought there's got to be something. And I did find photographs that showed them, but you couldn't really tell what they were. You couldn't see that they were lights. And then I thought about, well, what about Stefan Drembinski's drawing? Maybe he drew them in. And it turns out he did. And here they are. Now, wait a minute, it actually gets a little bit better. Not a lot better, but a little bit better. Now, you can clearly see that those are lights. Those are like uh, globes or lanterns or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they're definitely lights. Got nothing to do with antenna. Well, here is our dilemma. What was it, about two weeks ago I put this together? And uh, the the reason I put it together was because I wanted to get get these uh, this tripod affair in place so that we could see how well it was going to fit on on the bottom of this part here that we just completed finally. And I wasn't thinking. One of the viewers did make a comment, and he he said something to the effect of, and I can't remember how it goes anymore, but. You've got little pieces that have to go underneath it right in here, on, on this deck right here. 
Um, I don't know if I can can show it to you or not, but uh, well, pro probably not. But on anyway, on on the inside there, th six of these, three on each side, go right in in here. And at the time when I read the comment, I thought, yeah, I can I can probably get them in there. I'll you know put them in with tweezers, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking at all, actually, because it would have been so much easier if I had uh, been able to paint the decks, whatever color I'm going to use, probably the dark, the darker gray. And, uh, well, it's, it's too late now because it's all glued together it, with the, uh, with the CA thin, or rather with the, uh, Tamiya extra thin. And it, it would be uh, impossible to pry it apart now without breaking it. Now, it would be really nice if Trumpeter was across the street. <laughs> and I could just walk across the street and buy an extra, what is it, bee sprue? Because all, all of these parts, pretty much, well, no, this isn't. Um, anyway, there's, there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, it, it was just a silly mistake. And it, it is going to sort of, kind of, make it so that it won't look quite as good as it otherwise would have because I'm going to have difficulty now painting the deck. Um, now, now, some of these, like, like these ones on the top, uh, whatever goes, uh, there's a whole bunch of these, we've already made them. They have to go probably in here. That, that won't be a problem. Um, you know, what, whatever mounts right there, that, that's going to be our, no, it won't be a problem. Uh, well, you know, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, because uh, I'm going to have to try and angle my airbrush just right to get in at all the little angles, I'm most likely going to spray this particular piece off camera when we actually get to doing it, Other, because it's going to be just too hard trying to hold it so that the camera can see it and also hold it so that I can get the airbrush just right. Um, <clears throat> you know, for those of you who are building this kit, uh, and you, if you have not got to this particular step yet, 52, uh, please do not make this mistake. Like I say, it's, uh, it's, it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty close. Okay, what else is there to do now in step 52? And, uh... Okay, we've assembled everything inadvertently. Uh, yeah, this is all done. We got the uh, spotlights here. Okay, so they're made. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of pieces called E48, and they are supposed to go. Well, it looks like there's some sort of a almost a gusset affair that goes right in the corners here. Uh, well, let's find them and put them on. In the meantime, I do believe I better find a very safe place to put this. We worked so hard on it to get it to the way it is right now. It'd be a shame if I broke something off here. <clears throat> you know, a slight bend is okay because I can probably straighten it. Uh, yeah, let's let's just find a really safe place to put this. Okay, here we are, E forty eight. But I was just looking at this thing here. Is this supposed to be another one of those wind speed things? I guess we'll soon know. Okay, now there are two E sprues. I'm just going to go ahead and get the other one. Now, as near as I can tell, this piece here, B27, is the last piece we need for step 52. And it's going to go right in there.
Now I was just going to cut this little tab off of the part here and I was just noticing that the part that plugs into the side of the ship is actually connected to the tab and you can you can see where it would be extremely easy to accidentally cut that off because we need that Okay, I've trimmed it up a little bit here. I'm hoping I uh, trimmed it enough. Otherwise it won't go all the way into the into the side of the ship. It, it almost looks like maybe I should have gone just a little bit more here. I'm just going to I'm just going to use my file. Okay, I think I left enough on there. Well, we'll soon know. Let's do this one first. Okay, with the use of the helping hands here, we're going to let gravity be our friend. Now, I do believe it has to go like this. You know what? Let's put the macro lens back on. Okay, now this is my first go at this, so it it may not fit. Now it, it appears that it's fitting. Okay, I think that's seated in place there. Just let me look straight down on it. Um, I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. Now, what I've got here is the Tamiya Quick Setting. And I'm, I'm coming at it from the bottom. I wanted to turn all of that plastic into molten metal. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll just let that cure, or dry out rather. And I think once we paint that over, it's going to look all right. Now it's just down as far as it goes there. It's poking on it a bad idea. No, I, I think that's probably going to uh, melt pretty nicely there. Okay, well the last, I guess, about nine minutes has passed here and I've been sipping cold coffee out of my new Blue Jays mug and trying not to shake the model table. This is probably more or less solidified. It's a little bit soft. So uh, let's not mark it up, okay? Okay, as long as we still have our helping hands set up here, we may as well take advantage of gravity being our friend again. And um, I was looking at the manual here because I didn't, I, I couldn't really tell where, where does this exactly go? Does it go up here? Or, you know, exactly where does it go? Um, at least when you get to the end of step 52, you can't tell. However, when you flip it over, and if, if we look here, and in 55, you can see that these things actually go right where I've left it. They don't go halfway in between anything. They, they just go, I guess, flush with the bottom like that. So that's what we'll do here. Now, we won't put the macro lens on, and we will not do the time lapse thing. Um, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do it here.
think that's going to be more than enough. All right, now, um, it's after 3 o'clock, and I know our video is not very long, but I'm going to cut today's video off. If I do any more this evening, uh, hopefully uh, I'll video it. I don't think I will be, but we'll see what happens here. Yeah, this uh, quick sitting, quick setting seems to work pretty good. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.